why scuba training is important for becoming an astronaut. Scuba training has many things in common with astronaut training. The mutual topics are like, we do have to rely on equipment whenever we do activities, both in space and underwater. Even if the emergency happens, there is no way that we can throw away the life support systems. Moreover, we do have to have a deep understanding of both the technology we use and the extreme situation that surrounds us. That being said, being trained underwater as a scuba diver will benefit astronauts to simulate the space environment. In fact, most of the astronaut training is done underwater. Moreover, many of the current astronauts were enjoying scuba diving even before becoming an astronaut as their hobbies. So, how can you do training? What does the process look like? There are multiple organizations that give you a certification, and I'm mainly doing training with PADI and SSI instructors. Each organization has a slightly different certification requirements, but basically they are the same. For example, PADI requires the four types of certificate for recreational divers, which is open water certificate, advanced open water certificate, rescue diver plus EFR, which is emergency first responder and lastly, Master Diver Certificate. If you want to be the professional instructor, you will proceed with the Dive Master, which is the beginning of the professional career. I'm currently trying to get the Master Diver, which is the highest level for recreational divers. And hopefully, someday in the future, I also want to get the Dive Master in order to have more professional technique and knowledge. The advanced open water course is for advancing your skills after getting certified as the open water diver. It consists of five specialties, starting by deep dive and navigation dive, which are the requirement. And then you can also choose the rest of the three courses, uh, such as deep dive, boat dive, wreck dive, and buoyancy control, and fish identification, and so on. I chose drift dive, boat dive, and buoyancy control uh, for the rest of the three specialties and that was really, really practical. In a deep dive, you learn how to plan a deep dive, manage your gas supply, and how to identify and manage your causes. In a navigation dive, you learn how to observe the natural features, the use of the compass, and the surface observations. In the boat dive, you learn about using current lines, different entry and exit patterns, and how to pack, how to avoid seasickness, and floating emergency. In a drift dive, you learn about the technique when you are transported by the water movement caused by the tide or the ocean current. In a peak performance buoyancy, you learn an important technique as to uh, how to control your buoyancy by uh, breathing technique or uh, the body movement technique. Although I recently started the scuba diving training, I became an avid fan of scuba. It is enjoyable, and at the same time, I can learn a lot about the emergency protocol, how to be calm underwater, how to rely on equipment. So, I'm really, really excited to be a master diver and dive master since.